Hey everyone, I'm Cosmo, welcome back to Scrap Mechanic Survival, but with a little bit of a twist this time. So as you can see, I'm actually in the world that I play with Khan. However, this isn't the same world that Khan and I are playing, obviously. This is an older backup of that world, it's a copy of it, purely meant for testing what I will be testing today. Now, full disclosure, obviously, I am using creative mode in this world. Uh, you know, I don't intend to build this purely in survival because it would take a lot of scrap metal to get all the bearings and all the stuff that I need, uh, quite a bit of wood as well, so we're going to be testing this in creative, and the whole point of this video is to basically debunk a theory. Um, now the theory here is that, you know, making a suspension bridge will actually lag the game out quite a bit, and to test something like that in survival would take quite a bit of materials like I said, so I'm going to be testing it in creative, well, survival creative, because I'm actually curious myself. I want to see if a suspension bridge from this tree to that tree would lag the world out, and if so, well, how much? <laughs> well, we already have an elevator here, so I'm going to be building this on this side right here, all the way to that tree. Now, I did do some thinking beforehand, and I don't think I can actually weld the other end of the bridge to the platform that I'll be building on that tree if it's curved, like if I want it to be curved, because everything in this game gets welded parallel and perpendicular to each other, so here, let me quickly demonstrate. Alrighty guys, so as you can see, I built a oh, 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 falling down the stairs, falling down the stairs. So as you guys, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wall that off because we just, we don't need that for this episode. There you go. We don't need these stairs in this world at all, actually. Well, maybe we do, but we do have an elevator now. Anyway, so I have this obscure uh, creation with, you know, some bearings on there. And technically, if I wanted to weld this to this... I should be able to achieve that with, you know, the bearings providing enough pivot points. However, you can't do that. As you can see, it's not lining up. Uh, it's not highlighting, rather. So it's basically going to be impossible to weld my other side of the bridge to the other tree once I've built the whole length of it. So I've come up with a solution. I'm going to be using pistons to adjust the tension of the bridge after I've built it. Uh, basically, I'm going to build the bridge as a flat section, and then I'm going to, uh, on either side, have pistons that actually move in and outwards to, you know, adjust the, uh, the curve of the bridge, I guess you could say. But anyway, without further ado, I am going to delete all this junk, and we're going to get building. I'm going to show you guys exactly how I'm going to build this, because, well, obviously we're building kind of high up, it's going to be extremely annoying to uh, fall down all the time. So I think what I'm going to do actually is delete all that and I'm going to extend a platform. I wonder if I can even do this. Oh boy. Yeah, I'm just gonna keep extending wood like so. Oh, if it even lets me. Like so. Like so. There we go. <laughs> I guess I was standing there. Yep, so I'm going to fully extend this all the way to the other tree, and then this is going to be the platform that I build my bridge on, and then I will remove this platform and we will have a hanging bridge. Oh man, this is actually like making my palms a little sweaty, guys. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's giving me some vertigo. Oh, come on. There we go. Okay, well, I'm going to build this whole uh, this whole stretch. You guys probably don't need to see that. It's going to be quite boring, but uh, I'll catch up with you once it's all done. Alrighty, guys, here we go. Have a platform going from one end to another. Now, <laughs> I guess it's already a bridge, right? But it's a little bit unrealistic. There's nothing supporting it, so... You know, that's that's kind of why we haven't done that in our own world. Now, you guys may also be wondering why I'm using this world specifically to test this idea. Why I didn't just create a creative world, or why I didn't do it in another survival world. Well, the truth is, is that I looked around for this kind of tree setup in other survival worlds. I created some new ones, and I ran around, and I tried to find similar, you know, setups, but I just couldn't find anything. And then I was like, you know what, I've already got a save file with two trees nearby. Plus, it's a survival world that already has stuff on it, so we'll be able to test our lag theory a little more, uh, I guess, accurately. So yeah, that's basically the reasoning for that. <laughs> okay, so, let's see what we got here. We got a platform on this side, we got a platform, well, obviously on that side, 
and I think I can start laying out my uh, my bridge here. So first things first, I need to build some pistons. I need to put some pistons on this thing. So I'm just gonna do that. Oh, okay. And we're gonna line up some pistons. Let's grab some level fives here. I don't need the extra extension on the level fives, but maybe they're stronger than level ones. Uh, so I'm just gonna use those, and then we'll I guess we'll find out. <laughs> Okay, there's a bit of a misalignment here. Okay, and now we can throw some pistons down. Throw one down there, and there, and you know what, maybe one down the middle? Sure, why not? <laughs> we might need to add more, but I think it'll be okay. Now the trick is to not attach anything to this bottom platform. This is purely for my building, uh, so that I don't fall down, but uh, I can only imagine I'm probably gonna make a couple of mistakes there. <laughs> Actually, when I delete this whole thing, it's not even gonna matter, so we're good, we're good. Okay, that is our beginning. Now we're going to start with individual sections. So the way I'm going to do this is basically just create a ton of bearing joints and, you know, make it as as realistic as possible, make it as ropey as possible, you know? Because if you've ever seen photos of rope bridges, well, they're very, you know, they're very much like ropes under the force of gravity, right? They, uh, they bend in a uniform curve and that is exactly what I'm going for here. So. Uh, in order to do that, I'm going to need to basically use bearings at every earliest possible interval that I can. So let's let's get right to that. This might be a lot of uh, repetition work, so I'm going to show a couple of sections, and then I'll probably time lapse the rest. Let's see. I need to think of how to create these sections here for a sec, guys. Just give me a moment. Alrighty guys, took me a little bit of time, but I think I got it figured out. So we have two options here. This was the first option that I came up with and, you know, as you can see, it's got all sorts of pivot points here. So the only thing with this is that there's going to be less bearings, there's going to be, uh, you know, larger intervals between the bearings, and we're not really going to get a very smooth curve. Now, I don't really know what my uh, actual purpose is to try and lag the game out or to, you know, just try and build a good rope bridge while lagging the game out potentially i don't exactly know but what i do know is that i want to build a proper rope bridge so i think i'm going to go with this design simply because it's going to i think uh give me a slightly better look in the long run uh the wood would be nice but i don't know man i don't know i just i don't like how bulky this is and this will definitely take longer to build but i think this will be a really good test of uh you know if we can make a rope bridge in scrap mechanic without crashing the whole game so let's get right to it guys i'm going to start building these sections over and over and over and over this is uh, the point in the game where i wish i was in creative so that i could save things on my lift and you know just weld them on but that is not the case so i'm gonna get to building and i hope you guys enjoy the time lapse Guys, I'm already getting frame drops. <laughs> what can I say? I'm already getting frame drops. That's uh, gonna be rough. <laughs> what did I get myself into? Oh no, every time I place down a bearing now, it's so bad. Now, I'm not saying it's because this whole thing is touching this wooden bridge, but I think it's because this whole thing is touching the wooden bridge. <laughs> Oh man, I didn't think the lag would come this fast. Like, I might only do the one side, guys. This is rough. This is rough. <laughs> 
Getting good old three frames right now. This is great. <laughs> oh no. Okay, lag be gone. Now we can build without lag and we can create the lag again when the time comes. Lovely. Alrighty guys, so, <laughs> uh, what can I say, I can already feel that this is not going to end up well. There's a very, 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 very high possibility that as soon as this comes off the lift, um, it's gonna crash the game. So actually, now that I say that, I'm gonna quickly back the game up. Alrighty, we got that backed up. Oh, we don't need that. So now I actually need to move this whole thing over so that I can you know, finish the bridge portion of it. I'm definitely not doing the second side of bearings, guys. I think this is enough to prove my point. Um, now, also having built this, I realized that probably building this in creative could have proved my point just as easily, but I felt like this could be cooler. That's my justification. <laughs> so let's, uh, let's drop this thing off the lift and see if we crash the game. Oh boy. I can barely move guys. <laughs> okay, I I got to I got to put it back on the lift. This is nuts. I think I broke the game. I don't think this is going to be possible. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> what, what am I doing? Well guys, what can I say? I crashed the game. <laughs> um, I think we all kind of saw that coming. I was hoping there would be a chance for me to, you know, weld the thing down and remove the platform underneath, but unfortunately, I was not able to do that. So here we are in a creative world. Now, I don't think I'm going to build a bridge nearly as long, but I do still want to build a suspension bridge to kind of see how. Uh, you know, how big we can make it before things get really bad. So I'm just going to pick an area and I'm going to build a little, you know, testing station and we're still going to build a suspension bridge, uh, but it's just, it just won't be the one that I set out to build, but that's okay because I can't even recover that world anymore. I keep trying to spawn into it, but because the creation spawns in off the lift, well, that file is corrupt. So, ah oh well. <laughs> well, this looks like a pretty good spot. I think I'm going to build here and test my suspension bridge here. So let's get right to it.
Alrighty guys, I think I'm getting somewhere here. I have my bridge section over here, so I can keep spawning in more of it and just welding it up. So let's let's give that theory a try. And that should be enough to build another section that we can save a larger section off of. So let's put this back up and keep welding stuff on. So much easier and creative. <laughs> Alrighty, let's drop this off the lift, see what's up. Perfect. Not too shabby, not too shabby. <laughs> okay, so now I am going to mimic this whole section. Oh boy. See, when it's welded and just hanging, it's not too bad. And then as soon as it touches a surface, it's pretty bad. I really wish I could have salvaged my other world. I don't know how I could have built it otherwise, to be honest with you. Perfect. Okay, now we weld that back on and we spawn a bunch more of them. Another one, and then another one, and we should probably start welding <laughs> before we lag the world out entirely. Oh boy, as it's already happening. Can we keep going? What do you guys think? Let's drop this thing down. Oh, Nelly. Okay, I'm getting three frames, okay? Three frames is still pretty good. I feel like I can do another one. Okay, excellent. One more. Oh no. One more might be tough, guys. One more might be tough. I kind of want to risk it. I want to risk it all. <laughs> Alright, let's weld that piece on for now. Okay, and... I want to do one more. I really want to do one more, guys. Let's do it. Whew, fingers crossed it doesn't lag the whole world out. Good old three frames per second. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, now we just gotta make it to this one at one frame per second. Perfect. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, lovely. All right, let's bring this up on the lift. Lag be gone. Thank you. Very nice. Alrighty, let's weld this guy onto here. And then let's create the uh, the other side of this. I think that's I think that's enough, guys. I think that's enough. <laughs> that's enough lag. Gonna need to drop it down once more just because, well, our lift is in the wrong spot. There we go. Drop, pick up again. Go. Go. Pick, no. No. There we go. Perfect. Whew. That's a lot of lag, guys. That's a lot of lag. But what do we expect, right? What did we realistically expect? Let's count how many bearings we have, actually. 146 bearings, guys. 146 bearings. That's. It's a lot of bearings for very little frames, let me tell you that much. <laughs> okay, so now we need to put a button on this thing. No, switch. We need a switch, we don't even need a button. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so now these guys, I want to go all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. And same with these guys. All the way up, all the way up, and all the way up. Hopefully they're strong enough. Now these guys, I just want them to go out two blocks. Only two blocks. Honestly, even just one block probably would have been okay, but actually I think this is going to map. I think one is the default, so this is only going out one block. Perfect. Okay, and now we just connect all of that to the switch. Perfect. Six connections here, six connections on the other side. And I think we're ready to drop this thing and weld it to our, uh, our block over here. Hopefully that works. Hopefully that fits. Okay, well, let's drop it down and actually, before we do that, I'm going to save this on a lift. Lag monster. There we go. Okay, so let's drop it down and weld her up. Oh boy. No, no, no. Please, no crashy. Please, no crashy. No, 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 no. Look at all those ripples. Okay, good. I got it. I got it on the welding tool. I have the power. I can do this. I can make it. Go forward. Go forward. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I did it again. <laughs> All right, let's see how dead this world is. Oh, we're in. Throw it on the lift, throw it on the lift. Just throw it on the lift, bud. Just throw it on the lift. Okay, it's on a lift. Thank goodness, it's on a lift. Let's try this again. I'm gonna try and weld this thing to the ground. This is gonna be rough. I need to figure out the easiest way to weld it to the ground right now. Perfect, I got it. Now we just gotta turn it. Nope, too far. Nope, too far. Right here, let's place her down right here, man. Oh my goodness, I was actually able to weld it. Now we need to go press the button. Oh, what? 
That makes no sense. I gotta fix that. Aw, oh, jeez. Alrighty, we're starting a new map. This was- this, this was- <laughs> that was awful. <laughs> I was wondering why it was like, going all sinusoidal wave on me, and it's because I- it didn't- it wasn't welded all together. <laughs> Who would've thunk? Who would've thunk Cosmo built something that didn't work? Let's build a lag monster again. Now, where's our weld tool? There it is. Okay, now we're all one creation. Okay. Let's try this again. <laughs> I am going to drop... I'm gonna make a post. Just a platform. There we go. And we're gonna drop this thing down and weld it up. Go. Weld it. Weld it. Weld. Weld. Just weld. Please, just... Alright guys, I'm gonna try this again and I'm going to actually try and do it in such a way that it minimizes the lag, hopefully. Uh, I'm going to try and lift the bridge off the platform right away as soon as it drops down by using your controller. So let's give that a try. I'm going to go find a better area that's a little less grassy and we can hopefully finish this test. <laughs> Alrighty, here's our lag monster over here. I think I need to weld it back together. I never saved it. Yep. And now we're actually going to throw a controller on this just like that. And we are going to get rid of the button. And we're gonna hook up the controller to all of these guys. Perfect. And what we're gonna wanna do is start them off at 15. There we go. Immediately they're gonna go up and hopefully get rid of some of that lag. Hopefully. You know what? Let's just let's just try it. Let's just try it. Okay. Interesting. Pistons go up. It's interesting that it's already sagging. That's very, very peculiar. I guess all the bearings have stretch in them. Oh yeah, look at that stretch. Oh, I guess not all the pistons were connected. Whoopsie daisy. We're getting a solid, solid 4 FPS here, guys. This is lovely. I think this kind of proves to us that, you know, suspension bridges are not the greatest idea. <laughs> look at all those bearings. This is nutty. Hey, at least we're getting four frames per second. Let me uh, let me put this back on the lift, actually. So as you can see, guys, one of the biggest problems actually is the bearings just stretching. There's so much stretch in the bearings that uh, it I don't I didn't even need to make the thing you know have adjustable uh, tautness because it wouldn't wouldn't even matter. <laughs> well, I'm gonna drop this thing down yet again. I think I'll be able to weld it this time, so I am going to do that. This whole episode is ridiculous. <laughs> this is just I I set out to try and build something working, and I thought it might kind of work, but it is absolutely not. It's not working. Okay. I don't call this working. <laughs> it's kind of working. We must, we must try and get this done. Why, why won't you weld? Like, why won't you weld? Please tell me. <laughs> Look at all those bearings go. <laughs> it's such a bad idea. This is a horrible idea. Okay, so it's welded now. I think it's about to crash. Every time I weld it, it crashes, I think. Just lift it off. Just lift it off. You can do it. Just lift it off entirely. You can do it. Come on. Yes, yes, the lag's getting better. The lag's getting better. The lag is getting worse. <laughs> the lag is getting worse. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys. I don't know what to say. I mean, I don't... I don't know what to say. This is as good as it gets. <laughs> this is as good as it gets. Well, that's... That's rough. That's rough. But, there you have it, guys. I mean, building a suspension bridge in Scrap Mechanic is practically impossible. Now, I could probably do this with far less bearings, uh, you know, the sections would have to be much longer and it wouldn't look nearly as realistic, obviously, you know, just looking at this, it would look really realistic had it not, you know, be freaking out like that from all the bearings. <laughs> But I don't think I'm going to torture you guys any further. I think we've kind of proven the point here. Uh, it's very, very, very difficult to build a suspension bridge and scrap mechanic that won't cause you immense amounts of lag. Um, I might, might try and build a simpler one, but then I kind of posed the question of, well, what's the point, right? And this was fun to build though. This was fun to test out and see if it can work. And it kind of works, but it's just not usable, guys. But like I said, guys, I'm not going to torture you more with this lag. I just wanted to do this little experiment to show you guys and even for myself because I had no clue how this would turn out. I mean, I think deep down we all knew that this would be a lag monster, but it was still a cool idea to try, I think. 
and uh, I'm I'm glad I busted this myth. <laughs> Not gonna be calling this the MythBuster series, but this is definitely a myth that has been busted. I don't know what else we all expected. I think deep down we all expected this, but I had my hopes. I don't know about you guys, but I had my hopes. But in any case, I hope you guys enjoyed this video despite all the lag. If you did, please click the like button down below. Let me know in the comments below what other ideas you want me to try or myth bust. Uh, this actually came from the comments from people suggesting that Khan and I build a suspension bridge in our co-op world. And uh, that is why I decided to try it on my own. But in any case, thank you guys for watching and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!